Hello guys, my name is Aiden Cham Singh sir and me and my group will be going around Taylor's University to conduct interviews with random strangers regarding the importance of self-confidence when it comes to communicating. Now, it's obvious that having a high sense of confidence can be very, very beneficial in one's life. For instance, have you ever wished that you could just strike up a conversation with a random person? Or have you ever wished that you could just give a really exciting presentation in class without feeling nervous? Well, having a high sense of self-confidence can help with just that. However, a lot of people, and myself included, consider ourselves to lack some self-confidence and self-esteem. There could be some factors that can ne negatively affect one's self-confidence, which include things such as shyness, social anxiety, and etc. Therefore, in order to better understand this topic, we believe the best way to go about this is to, to go directly to the source, which is the people, and conduct an interview regarding the factors that negatively affect a person's self-confidence and what can be done in order to overcome those factors. Okay, so, hello miss. Alright, uh, before we start the interview, can you please state your name for the camera? Um, I'm Ashria Kalidasan uh, and I'm from Foundation in Business. Alright, so um, do you think or do you consider yourself to be like a confident person? Honestly, yeah, I, I do consider myself as a confident person. Um, I can say that I used to not be a confident person but now that I've come to college, I feel like I've been more confident lately. Uh, it's nice to hear because I'm not so confident myself. Oh. I'm doing this interview right now. I'm ch I'm actually shaking. Oh, really? Yeah, but it's okay. We we you know we touch on. All right. It's fine. It's fine. So I asked that question because in this interview we'll be asking a few questions regarding the importance of self confidence when it comes to communication. As you know, communication is like something we, that we do every day, right? Yeah. So I, I I think it's I I mean I guess it's a vital part of life, don't you think? Yeah, it is. It all right, is. all right. So all right. So the, for the first question, do you recall a memory of yourself just not being able to speak to someone and why so? Um, I think it was a few years ago when I was in pri I mean high school and this group of people came to my school and I was a like group leader for this project that I was supposed to present and I remember not being able to public speak well so it was a bit hard for me and a bit humiliating because I, I didn't get my point across but I think I've learned from that and now I definitely can do such thing you know alright alright that's, that's nice to hear you know like getting out of your shell and all yeah. that like, yeah. as I mentioned earlier I'm still inside the shell lah so oh, you're still pretty confident no 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 it, it's, it's all fake it's a mask oh, okay. um, you know alright so all right, yeah, let's get back to the interview so in your opinion, do you think self-confidence plays a vital part in your communication skills? Um, yes, definitely. I feel like my life has changed more once I became confident than when I was not confident. So yeah, I would say that being confident is a vital part of like in your daily life. Alright. So, uh, okay, so for the last question because it's uh, raining pretty heavily right now. So, on the scale of 1 to 10, how important do you think it is to master your communication skills and how it will benefit your daily life? Um, I think you should uh, practice to speak with more people and like socialize more and step out of your comfort zone even when you're not like a confident person you know I feel like that can make you more confident and like yeah it, it will help change your entire life in a different way being confident is a good thing so yeah so, but, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how, how important do you think it is? Oh, okay. Um, I would say a 9 out of 10. Nice. Yeah. Really important. Yeah, it's important. Really Alright, so, basically, that's it. Oh, that's okay. it. But, um, in return for helping us do this uh, interview, you get to pick one of these uh, three bookmarks. Uh. Oh. These bookmarks, they contain like a quote about self-confidence. Uh. Oh, yeah, you can you. read and feel better about yourself, you know. Okay. And also, um, Yes, uh, as a thank you gesture, uh, we have some uh, candies for you. All of it is all for you. Uh, so, thank you for participating in this interview. Alright, so uh, before we start this interview, can you please state your name for the camera? Okay. My name is Zaira Nadira Amma. Call me Zaira. Alright. Zaira? Yeah. Alright, I got it correct. Yeah. Alright, thanks. Yeah. Because I'm not really good at names, so you know. So, before we start, I would just like to ask, do you think of yourself as like a confident and outgoing person or are you like that you know like to stay at home? 
for me, I do think I am an alone person, like um, a loud person as like a lot of people told me that uh, I'm a social social person. So I do think I'm actually quite good in it. Oh, so you think you're a loud person, ah? yeah. outgoing person? Yeah. I cannot say the same for me, lah, but it's okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, because I asked that question because in this interview, We'll be asking a few questions regarding the importance of self-confidence when it comes to communicating, which I think you do on a daily basis, right? Yep, yes. All right. For the first question, do you recall a memory of yourself just not being confident enough to speak to a person or to people and why so? Yep, okay. So basically, I uh, I am from a boarding school, so most of my friends there were like very, very, very um, smart. and. I myself, I like to doubt myself. Uh. So when I'm placed in a classroom full of people who are smart, I tend to be like, I, I felt like I'm belittled by them. So what I did was just try to connect with them more. And when I try to connect with them, not with them more, I tend to be more comfortable with them. So it really helped in a way. Sekolah yep. Sorma? Sekolah, oh them. All right, no, no, Sekolah Pagi. Yeah. Sekolah pagi. Can, okay. Cannot relate. Okay. All right. So, in your opinion, do you think self-confidence plays a vital part in your communication skills? Yes, it does play um, a vital part because if you're not confident, then it will affect a lot of aspects in your life. Basically, you can't really be um, doing your work. You can't really so socialize if you have things to do. Basically, it's just not a good thing if you don't know how to communicate. But it's okay, it's something that you learn along the way. So, yeah. So, for the last question, uh, we're almost done. Don't, uh, you know. Alright. On the scale of 1 to 10, how important do you think it is to master your communication skills? And how do you think it will benefit your life? I think on a scale of 1 to 10, it's going to be a 10. Because... 10? Yeah, 10. Wow. Be, it's important because if you don't know how to talk to people, it will honestly make you feel like you don't have anything and then if you don't know how to talk to people you tend to be more disclosed you are gonna be more or less like a depressed person because you cannot um, talk about what you feel and how to overcome it so yeah all right so uh, that's about it thank you and for you as a token of appreciation we yeah as you heard from your yeah. friends we have some bookmarks with some uh, quotes about self-confidence uh, when you can read when you're sad or something. So choose which one. Uh, oh, this one, oh, oh, this which one. Which one? I'm uh, going to choose this one. Yeah, we, we have to use this for the other students as well. <laughs> but something you cannot choose is all of this. Uh? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. So yeah, this I hope... Eh, you know, it's fine to, to get people to participate in the yeah. slam video. So thank you so much. Okay, so uh, before we start the interview, will you please state your name for the camera? Yeah, my name is Sri Tuo Yi. Yeah. So, do you think, do you consider yourself as a confident person? Do you think of yourself as like a confident person? I think, I think I'm not a conf- uh, confident person. Uh. I'm really, uh, I'm, I think I'm, I'm a really non-conditioned con- uh, person actually. Alright, so yeah, yeah. so would you say you have a low low self confidence? No, you... I'm not. Mm, I will not be nervous uh, actually all the time because I think um, not really um, not really so many problems in the in the world. So I think I will be not really confident. Okay. Yeah. So. Be, I asked that question because in this interview, we'll be asking a few questions regarding the importance of self-confidence when it comes to communication. So, are yeah. you ready to start? Yeah, okay. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so do you recall a memory of yourself just not being confident to speak to people and why? Uh, I think most of the time, I'm, um, I, will, I, will, uh, I am a people without com- uh, confidence. But sometimes, maybe I will have some mistake. I do something wrong, and uh, I talk to my teacher, my lecturer, my, and my uh, family member. I will be com- confident. <laughs> yeah. Mm, all right. So, in your opinion, yeah. do you think self confidence plays a vital part in your communication skills? Let's say you're talking, like it plays a vital part when you're talking to someone. You know, in yeah, your communication uh, skills in general. Uh, f- for real, I think. 
if uh, if a people who talk to uh, talk, talk to me is uh, really nervous, really conf um, confident, I think maybe he did something wrong, and I don't trust him. So I think a people who will be non non confident will um, let other trust and uh, let them to think, oh, this, this guy is really cool. This guy really can be friend. Yeah, mm, like that. Right. Like that. <laughs> all right, nice, nice, nice. So for the last question, all right, it's almost done. Don't worry. Sure, sure. So on the scale of one to ten, how important do you think it is to master your communication skills, and how will it benefit your life? Like, will communication skills benefit your life? Oh uh, yeah, of course. I think. Um, if a member, um, uh, if a number, I think nine, la, nine point five lah. Right. So, so it's very important. Yeah, very important because, um, if uh, if a guy, if, if a person really nervous to uh to talk with others, cannot cannot say anything, um, he will be just like, oh, I I can I cannot do this, I cannot do that. Um. There will be so many trouble in in, in his life. Yeah, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get you. I get you. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks. So for doing this interview, we're yeah. gonna we're, we're gonna reward you with some uh, bookmark bookmarks that we oh. made. That has a yeah. uh, motivate. That has some quotes regarding self confidence. Uh. So just choose which one do you like, which one's the prettiest. So you know. Ah. Uh, okay. L this yeah, one. you can take it. You can take it. How about this one? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, just take okay. one though. Oh yeah. We, we need it for the other interviews. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. And also, we have some food for you lah as a uh, th thank you token yeah. for doing this interview with us. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Okay, hi. I'm the interviewer for today, and I'm Chong Cheng. So, so to start this interview, can you state your name for the uh, camera? My name is Zafri. Okay. Arifin. And what do you study? I study foundation and business right foundation. now. So, to quick start this interview, do you think yourself as a confident person? No, not really. <laughs> because in this interview, we'll be asking a few questions regarding the importance of self-confidence when it comes to communication. So, for the first question, do you recall a memory of yourself just not being confident enough to speak to people and why? Uh, yes, and that was because I had social anxiety growing up, mostly because of the atmosphere I was put in with my parents and them. I wasn't really confident in talking to other people, but now it's better, of course. It's better, right? In your opinion, do you think self-confidence plays a vital part in your communication skills? Uh, yeah. On the scale of 1 to 10, how important do you think it is to master your communication skills and how will it benefit your daily life? I think it's important to master, but I, I wouldn't say I'd say it's a six. It's important, but it's not really a, necess a necessity. You can go without it, but it's still helpful. Especially for presentations and yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So as a gift of appreciation for this interview, you can take a bookmark. Uh, this bookmark aims to help to boost your confidence in communication. So just take one. Okay, thank you. And this is our free gift for you. Oh, all of it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hello, can you please state your name for the camera? Hi, my name is Cheryl. Do you think of yourself as a confident person? Yeah, I do. Because in this interview, we will be asking a few questions regarding the importance of self-confidence when it comes to communication. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first question is, do you recall a memory of yourself just not being confident to speak to people and why? Um, me personally, I think that I have been confident. I'm a very confident person ever since I was young. So I don't really recall a memory of when I was not confident, but um, I think some advice I would give you is just to be uh, true to yourself and let people really see you for what you are. You don't have to put on a fake personality or anything just to gain more confidence. So, yeah. so in your opinion, do you think self-confidence plays a vital part in your communication skills? Yeah, I do think that the more confident you are, the more um, more extroverted and outspoken you can be. Um, if the confidence level like keeps decreasing, like you wouldn't even be confident within yourself to talk to your group of friends. I think especially in university is really important. Yeah. So moving forward to the last question, on a scale of one to ten, how important do you think it is to master your communication skills, 
and how will it benefit your daily life? I think it's a 10 because communication skills are something you're gonna use every single day for the rest of your life in work, in uni, and even in clubs and societies. I think that is also a tool for you to help develop your communication skills, especially if you're an introvert okay. because um, you just meet a lot of different people and I think that also helped boost my confidence even more. Yeah. So thank you for conducting this interview with us. As a gift of appreciation, this is a bookmark for you thank that you. you know aims to help you boost your confidence. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, and this is your free gift. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I guess that's all for today. Now, this goes to show that having some confidence in yourself can really go a long way in terms of factors such as day-to-day -day communication. It's fine to be shy and nervous sometimes. However, it's important for us to come out of our comfort zone once in a while in order to improve our confidence and self-esteem. We hope that this video has given you guys the opportunity to understand the importance of having confidence in yourself. These are my groupmates from the 6th and thanks for watching. See you again.